God says to Moshe that the Jewish people are a stiff-necked nation. Is being stiff-necked a good thing or a bad thing? Well, in this week's parasha, it's written in a negative context. They're a stiff-necked nation. That's why they turned their back on me, says God. That's why they built a god, a deity, a golden calf. Because they're a stiff-necked nation. But the truth is, being stiff-necked could be in the positive context too. We are so rigid, so inflexible, that nobody can break us. How many nations of the world try to challenge us, to crush us, to break us, and we never gave in? Why? Because we're a stiff-necked nation. So when God says to Moshe that the Jewish people are stiff-necked, it doesn't mean he needs to change that quality. What it does mean is he needs to channel it. Channel it and guide it in the right direction, in the positive context. And so it is with each one of us when we assess ourselves and we assess our qualities or the qualities of our children. Qualities, we don't need to change them. We need to guide them and direct them in the positive context. So being stiff-necked has many advantages to it. We're living in a world that's so complicated. With social media, we're exposed to so many fashions and fads and styles and so much out there. We need to be stiff-necked. We need to be loyal. We need to be focused. We need to know our value system and not allow for any outside influences to change us. Remain faithful to our religion, faithful to our family, faithful to our values. That's what being stiff-necked is all about in the positive context. Shabbat Shalom.